Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Manager 2019. The rebuild at the Raya Zara continues and we have the final two games of Season 2. And there is a lot on the line, I promise you that. Taking a quick look at the table, you'll see exactly what I mean. Two games to go, we sit in 6th place, we've guaranteed Europa League qualification, which is huge. But Champions League is still possible. We play Villarreal away from home in this next game. If we win that, it is in our hands. We will go above Betis into fourth with just one game to play. Lose this and it's over. Villarreal will take charge and we will not be able to catch them. We must, essentially must win. A point isn't going to do us much good. This is our big chance. The last game out, we had a win against Aragotha, 1-0. That was our only game that we played. Let's jump in. There's nothing else for me to say, really. We have got to win this game if we want Champions League football. One quick aside, I said in the last episode that Diego Roland wouldn't be staying because he wanted 75 grand a week. After we qualified for the Europa League, I just, you know, out of interest, asked him. He signed a new deal until 2024 and 39,000 pounds. So we made that work. I'm happy with him. I'm probably still going to want to bring in a striker. I wouldn't mind playing him out wide maybe for next season. But if I need to play him up top, I can. But it's nice to know that Diego Roland will be staying with us for the foreseeable future. So, with all those pleasantries out of the way, let's get right into it. Marcel is suspended. He's not injured for once, just a suspension this time. So, that's guys, don't want him. Alvin Toza can go on the bench. I'll put Valentin on the bench for the injured Saul, who's out for the rest of the season. I'm going to play Mosquera instead of Serrano and probably call it good there. So, this is our team. This is what we've got. This is how we can take on Villarreal. Remember, a win means Champions League qualification is within our grasp with one game to go. We go away to Espanyol, who I think are somewhere around 19th. So we should be able to win that one. This is the game, though. This is the one that we need to be getting a win from. I'm delighted to be in the Europa League, don't get me wrong. That's a huge achievement for this team already. But to get into the Champions League would be something on another level altogether as we kick off here against Villarreal. First time out of the game, then it's a free kick. Villarreal ping it forward. Walshide picks it up. He might think he's going to lose that. He goes back to Artola kind of awkwardly, but Artola gathers it in. We have 19 clean sheets on the year at the moment, still top of the league's kind of chart by one, as we were before this weekend. So another great you know, defensive accomplishment for us. I've ratted on our defense a little bit because he can be up and down. But you can't complain about 19 clean sheets in 37 games. The ball is played through. Diego Roland has he hits one and Asensio gets a touch and it goes out for a corner. A big early chance for our big player there. Couldn't put it away. It was a good sign that we're getting in there as the corner's put in by Gromley and it's cleared away by Firpo. Half has flown by. It's only it's less than 10 minutes to go. But it's a Okay, that was outside the box. So I'm not worried. It was a push. But it's a free kick. So this is just some... VAR pleasantries here. Yep, free kick, just just like I thought. So nothing comes of it. I've never seen one of those be given as a penalty, so you just kind of live to deal with it as halftime approaches. We hit halftime, in fact. We are goalless. It's not really what we need, is it? It means we still have a chance, but it's not in our hands if it stays nil-nil, and we kind of need it to be in our hands. I don't tr I don't know who Villarreal played in the last game, but I don't really trust them to not win. So let's go out here and see if we can get that crucial goal to put us in command of fourth place. It's a free kick here. Gronley steps up, he swings it, and it hits the wall, and then it's cleared away. Gronley's going to go and get it himself here. He finds Grujic. Here's Kike back into Robert. Interesting combination of players. Walshide's up there now. Let's have you go back and defend. Spoveda picks up. We're slowing it down too much. I don't like that. Grzic has it and he loses it. I knew that was going to come. And now Villarreal to counter. It's going to go ping through the middle. He's wide open and there it is. No one's following him. And Becca has it and it's a goal. And we're 1-0 down. Some absolutely shocking play. And it's the first chance Villarreal have had this entire game. And we are now in a heap of trouble. You kind of saw it coming from a mile away, though, didn't you? It's the kind of goal this game kind of puts upon you. But now we don't have a choice but to go out there, go at them, and see if we can... S now a goal would be delightful. Cause at least we would still have a chance. Whereas now, 1-0 down, we don't. It will be all over, so let's go ahead and make some change. Martin's having a shocker. There's a lot of players not playing well here. I don't really know what to do about it because I don't like the replacements that I have and my forward players are not playing well. 
I think I may put Martins out on the right and bring off Mart uh, put Roland on the right and bring on Ruiz up front. Apart from I don't really know what else to do. If I'm being completely honest with you, I don't know what else to do. Let's see if we can claw something as a corner. Gronley swings it in. It's headed towards goal, but it's wide by Walshide. Probably should have been on target. We're going very attacking. We don't have a yeah, we don't have an option. At this point, we have to go for it. We absolutely need to. Ten minutes to go. I don't I don't know what else to do. To be completely honest with you. Um, there's there's no one worth bringing on at all. So I think I'm just going to have to leave it. No one on the bench is going to give us a better option than the players that are on the field. That's a Villarreal free quick, free quick, free kick to get it back. Cartola gathers it. Five minutes to go and it doesn't look good one bit here. And three minutes to go. Looks like we're settling for Europa League football, unless there's some miracle here. Boveda finds Mosquera, he goes to Gruzic. He scored a worldie last time at Diego. Roland has it, he hits one, it hits the bar. Oh, that could have been the moment, but it's cleared away. Looks like, yeah, we are settling for a best fifth place after this. We're going to sit in sixth for now. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, I'm not upset. Because getting Europa League football is a huge achievement for us this season anyway. But being this close to the Champions League and not getting it is a little bit of a kick in the teeth. But there it is, full time. We go down 1-0 against Villarreal. I think we played well. We probably deserve to at least get a point out of that, if not win the game. But we didn't. We move on. We have one more game left. We play Espanyol away from home to wrap up the season. Join us back for that. Alright, final day time. So... Nothing really to play for here, apart from possibly a league position with Real Madrid, so keep an eye on that. But I'll make a couple of changes here, just get some guys in for some game time that I want to get on the pitch. There's not honestly a lot that I want to do with that, if I'm being honest. This is about it. Let's get Serrano in and put Marcel back in for possibly his last game. I'm still not certain if I'm going to sell him or not. I feel like I will, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick this team out there. Try and end on a high with a win here and move on to next season. It is quite funny and probably a positive to say this is the first meaningless game we've had of the series. Every single game has been important so far. Of course, we made it up to the playoff final last year and almost had second place in the last day. And then up until the last game, we could still have been hitting fourth place in the league. So we still had stuff to play for right the way up till the end. So it's nice to see that as a team... We've always been exciting, we've always been doing something, you know? And this game has not been very exciting, nothing's happened at all. Here's the first highlight though, is Tonio has it for Espanyol, Boveda wins it, he's running in, he's never going to get away from his man there, but it says punted away, Robert picks it up, he finds Cutrell on the left hand side. Not a lot of people here for this one, Espanyol fans not particularly pleased either to see their team relegated no matter what in this one, so. Gronley finds Serrano, here's Robert. At least I assume relegated no matter what, unless Taffy are winning at the moment, but I don't think that's the case, so that's probably why no one's turned up. As Boveda runs at the defense here, he swings one all the way across for a key to head towards goal, he hits the post and can't get the follow-up, it goes for a corner. Nope, it goes for a goal kick, never mind. Free kick here in the struggle half time, Valero swings one in, and Rojo is there, and Marcus Rojo, the former Manchester United man, has it over the bar for Espanyol, and we hit half time immediately after. A bit of a anticlimactic end to the season so far. A very dull first half. Let's hope that we can inject some spark into this and end on the high that I feel like our season probably deserves at this point. As we kick off the second half here in Espanyol. Betis are losing away at Celta Vigo at the moment, which is nice. That does put us ahead of them even with just the point today, but... It, I'd quite like to get the win so they don't sneak a goal back. Because league position is an important thing, I feel like. You want to finish as high up as possible, there's a little bit of extra money in it, maybe more reputation in it, I don't know. My cons the thing here is qualification. That might This might throw us straight into the group stages of the Europa League instead of having to play a qualifier, things like that. So, a couple changes here. Brangantini will probably make his last appearance. Mascara is going to come in, Serrano will drop to right back. And I think that's probably it. No, let's bring on Pedro for Gronley as well. Why not? 
we'll go far we'll just make our way through to the end of this one end of the season it's been a very pedestrian game 12 shots only two on target probably tells you about our performance today not great i'm glad there was nothing riding on this otherwise we would have been in quite a bit of trouble Real winning their game wherever they are yeah, but 40 seconds to go, and this game's just going to wind down. Was that a highlightless second half? I feel like nothing happened at all. A very, like I say, a very anticlimactic way to end what was a great season for us. So the first thing you'll maybe see next year... No, because we're in the group stages you want. What you'll see next year is Europa League football. We'll be back, back in Europe as a club for the first time in some time. We will have, obviously, another league campaign. We'll see how the signings go. Don't throw this away. He was offside, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, we'll have another league campaign. See if we can capitalize on our performances this year, bringing the players to improve the team, keep us where we are, and maybe push on even further. Look for the Champions League next year. I feel like the Europa League is something we could probably do a job in as well with the right investment in the right places. We're, you know, in my mind, we're a good enough team to make that kind of progress. But that's it. Season 2 is over. A very credible 5th place finish. Very pleased with how that's gone. We will be joined by Real Madrid in the Europa League next year, which is a little scary, but that's fine. We'll come to that when it's time. Uh, I was hoping there might have been something about our budgets, but there isn't. So we'll just have to, you know, deal with that. Don't... Ooh, I'm doing it too carried away. Uh, what a whiny, whiny man. You're meant to be pleased. Anyway, with that... That is all for today. Next time we'll be together. We'll probably be at the first game of the new season, I would imagine. I don't plan to do anything part of the way through preseason or things like that. We're just going to keep getting on with it. So you'll probably see us back. Yeah, first game of the new La Liga season. There might be a Europa League group stage draw by then, or it might be upcoming. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for a wonderful season. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in a few months for the start of season number three.